ओके नीता प्रेजेंट रवि प्रेजेंट सैम इज नॉट हियर टुडे एज वेल और रेणु या ओ सैम प्लीज प्लीज कम इन I just marked you absent today as well. Let me just make the change. What happened to your hand? On my way to the school, I met with a minor accident at the turn near our house. An uncle who runs a grocery store saw me and came out to help. He took me to the hospital and informed dad. He came to the hospital immediately. The doctor said that my right radius is in fracture, so he had to put my arm in a plaster. Dad then dropped me in the school and met my principal to explain why I was so delayed. Oh, is it paining a lot? I hope you will be able to manage to attend classes, huh? Yes, ma'am. I am feeling better now. It was paining a lot when I got hurt, but the doctor gave me some medicines, and now the pain is much less. The doctor also said that I can attend school, though I have to be cautious about the right hand while moving about. Okay, good. So now please come and sit. Okay, so good. Are you comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So all of you, I request all of you to be extra careful while moving around in the classroom and school, so that Samir's hand is well protected because it is healing inside the plaster. Get it? Hmm. By the way, how long is it going to remain in the cast? Doctor has asked me to visit him again after a few days. He will examine the plaster and determine whether to remove it then. Okay, so now let's continue with our class. Yeah, what is it, Renu? Madam, what is a radius? Sam said his radius is fractured. What does that mean? That's a good question, Renu. So let me explain. Hmm? Radius is the name of a bone present in the forearm of our body. Hmm? Bone is a hard, rigid, compact connective tissue in our body. there are many bones of various shapes and sizes in our body so when a bone in our body is cracked or broken due to some injury it is termed as fracture when we look at our hands we don't see the bone so how do we know if it is broken well that's a great question so whenever we are hurt and get a cut or wound on the surface of our body we can see it directly and feel the pain simultaneously Similarly when bones are cracked or broken we can feel intense pain and notice swelling in the region of the body where the bone is present however we cannot see the cracked or broken bone as it is present inside the body getting it in such a situation an x-ray photograph of the part which is hurt and swollen is taken This X-ray image helps us to see bone and determine how and where it is broken. For me too, they first took an X-ray with my hand. When the doctor examined the my hand and the swollen region, he asked the nurse to take me to a room where they took a photo of my hand with an X-ray machine. In the photo, the doctor found a minor crack in my bone. Well it is actually good that you received a proper treatment for the fracture immediately so whenever there is a fracture care must be taken to prevent and stop the movement of the fractured bone and parts around it this is usually done by immobilizing the broken bone by placing it in a plastered cast thus it is ensured that healing happens well inside the body and the bone is restored to its original state after the recovery is complete okay yes. so tarun do you have to say something madam can you tell us what are bones made up of okay so bones are made up of living cells that is biotic components termed as bone cells which are embedded in a solid non living ground matter that is abiotic component made up of proteins and mineral salts like calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate this makes bones hard rigid and inflexible connective tissues in our body but madam if bones inside our body are not flexible how come our bodies are so flexible well i'm glad that you are asking such apt questions so like i said before inside our body there are bones of different shapes and sizes okay 
which are connected to each other by means of tough elastic tissue called ligaments. Such connections between two or more bones are termed as joints. Hmm? Thus, even though our bones are hard and inflexible, the joints between the bones provide flexibility to various parts of our body. Wow! Our body is really amazing. In a way, unflexible bones inside our body are helping our outside body parts to perform flexible movement. Excellent, Ravi. You have indeed stated this correctly. So, bones play a significant role in aiding smooth movements of our body as well as various parts of our body. Okay? Our ability to stand erect, move from one place to another by walking, hopping, jumping, swimming, etc. is attributed to our bony skeleton. Hmm? Similarly, actions like lifting things, throwing, catching objects with our arms and hands, bending, turning and twisting our body, waist and neck are also the movements possible because of our bony skeleton. Understand? Madam, what is a skeleton? Okay, so in general, skeleton means a basic structure that provides framework and support to build a complete thing or an object. So for example, when we have to build a room or a house, we first make pillars and beams that will support the walls, roofs and floor of the room. Thus, pillars and beams form a skeletal system for constructing a house. In the same manner, there is a strong supportive framework in our body made up of bones and cartilage. Hmm? It is termed as the human skeletal system or simply human skeleton. As explained earlier, the human skeletal system is not only crucial in helping movements and locomotion of our body, but it also provides a definite shape to our body. It provides support for bearing the weight of the body and framework for attachment of muscles and other soft tissues in the body. In addition to this, various parts of human skeleton also protect delicate vital organs such as skull protects the brain, the thoracic cage protects the heart and lungs to name a few. Okay? So well, children. Since we have already discussed so much about bones and skeleton, I would want you to find answers to some questions. This will also help us to complete the chapter from our science syllabus. So please note down these questions in your notebooks. Okay? So question 1. What are the various types of bones based on their shape? So give two examples of each. Hmm? Number 2. How many bones are there in an adult human body? Number three, which is the smallest bone in a human body? And the last question, name the strongest bone in a human body. So, thank you children. See you in the next class. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Summary. In this session, we have covered the following concepts. Bone fracture is a medical term used to describe any kind of breakage in the bones of the body ranging from fine cracks to partial or complete splits in structure of the bone. X-ray imaging technology is used to detect bone fracture. To enable healing of bone fracture, care is taken to restrict movement of the fractured bone and region around it by placing it in plastered cast. Bone is an important solid, rigid and inflexible connective tissue which makes up most of our skeleton. Bones are made up of living cells that is biotic components termed as bone cells which are embedded in a solid non-living ground matter that is abiotic component made up of proteins and mineral salts like calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate. There are many bones of different shapes and sizes in our body which are connected to each other at joints to form human skeleton. Important functions performed by bones and skeletal system in our body are to form strong supportive framework in our body, to provide definite shape to our body, to help in movements and locomotion of our body, to protect delicate vital organs in our body. In case you have missed understanding any of the above concept, please go through the session again and read the chapter from your textbook.